This is a recent educational project that I finished and deployed. This was done with uh, ReactJS and TypeScript. Also, if you notice on um, the sidebar here, uh, an infinite scrolling has been included here, implemented actually. So as soon as we go at the bottom, this jumps up and shows more and more and more. This was implemented using uh, React Query. And React Query was also used to uh, cache in the data, bring them in, and display right here. And the state management was done using Zustark. And also, this is the API that was used. I pretty much tried to mimic this application, make a clone of it. This is a great little free API mm -hmm. that you can use uh, with the great documentation here. Now let's go look into some of the functionalities. All right, so let's look at what this does. First of all, let's uh, see what it looks like in dark mode. I actually prefer this. And uh, here we have all the genres right here. We can keep going through them. And you notice uh, there is a loading time involved here. But once they load it, you know, first time it's going to do that. But after that, it's just going to load just like that. Because at this point, they are all being loaded from the cache created by React Query. That's, uh, that's what handling the caching mechanism. And then uh, while we do this, we also can have subclassification, you know, based on different uh, gaming medias, like a Nintendo, desktop games, Xbox, etc. And on top of that, we can uh, even uh, classify them based on popularity, or even average rating, etc, etc. And then, and as you can see here, once you uh, choose a specific genre and then keep adding stuff to it now it's going to show let's say let's start over let's refresh and let's uh, pick a specific genre here and now if we keep adding let's say playstation is going to keep adding to it and let's say nintendo going to keep changing it but while doing that if you change the genre going to also append to that and when we go for a search let's say sims and then all these uh, stuff gets reset in, and it comes back to a fresh start so then we can also keep looking for the same name let's do another search let's say theft And at this point, let's go to the single page. This is where it's going to load all the screenshot images, give you some more details, and it's going to load up Peggy 18. the video. All right, so that's pretty much it for this. Now let's look into the architecture of this app. Let's go to a diagram. All right, so here, uh, this is the uh, actual source of the data, the raw game API. And then I created a API client. This is where uh, in the base URL and all the necessary API uh, tokens and stuff are here. Uh, I also equipped it with some generic HTTP functions like get. And then in here, I created the necessary uh, hooks depending on all the data. Like for example, for the single game, use game for, the, for all the games would be use games, genres, platforms, screenshot, etc. And this is where the React query has been implemented. And from here, it actually calls up all the necessary data and display them accordingly. Right here, for example, uh, the genres, would be right here, platforms would go here, and uh, game and games would be right here, and all the state management happened using Dukstan library. Now let's go look at the code. 
So this is where everything begins. Uh, here's my chakra provider because all the styling and uh, responsiveness handled being uh, with uh, with chakra uh, chakra UI. All the styling and responsiveness are being handled with uh, chakra UI. Uh, also the light and dark mode. Uh, and here uh, is the query client provider is coming from React Query. And here I am uh, providing the routing. And this is where I have my API service, the generic ones, uh, and providing a the generic types for and creating two functions for single is a get and get all for all of the rest of them. And based on these, I have these hooks: use game, use games, genres, platforms, screenshots, trailers, etc. And I have the theme JS right here. This is where it's providing with the color and light and dark mode. And here is the store I have. This is where uh, I manage the states using the Zushtan library. And this is what it looks like. And that being said, let's go to the application to see how responsive that is. Okay. So this is your desktop. And let's go to the mobile phone and let's go to, let's say, iPhone Pro. Looking great. And then iPad Air. Widen it a little. And iPad Mini. Also looking pretty good. And that's all for this project. Thanks for watching.